regular meeting of the Board of Adjustment. This board was created by the city charter to hear applications for variances from the zoning ordinance requirements and to hear and render decisions on interpretations of the requirements of the zoning ordinance. The board consists of five voting members. It requires four affirmative votes for approval of any variance or interpretation. All cases on the agenda will be heard in the order listed. The order of proceeding for each case shall be as follows. Applicant shall present his case. Persons in favor of the variance shall present their evidence. Persons opposed to the variance shall present their evidence. The applicant will, shall be given a rebuttal period and the public hearing will be closed and no further testimony will be accepted. The normal procedure is that the board will discuss and take action on the application. All meetings of the board are open to the public. Anyone in the audience who thinks for, the, for any reason they will speak before the board tonight, please stand and take, take the oath. So I guess you're the only one here, aren't you? I guess so. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth in all matters pertaining to the cases before the Board of Adjustment? Please say I do. I do. Thank you. Please be seated. All right, roll call here. Let's see here, let me get this. Might help if I get my sheet here. All right. Gene Ogle. Here. Jack Lehman. Here. John Davies. Here. And Dennis Hart. Here. And Robert Jones here. All right, the first case on the agenda tonight is case number 18999-11, Jimmy Parr with SK Independence LLC, 3901 South Bolger Road, Drive, a variance request to the sign requirements for the property at 3901 South Bolger Drive here in Independence. So I guess we do the, the uh, video first. Okay. Um, before I run the video, basically this is a variance for a third wall sign for the tenant space on the east side of a, a new um, three tenant space uh, um, strip center that will be where the Zio's restaurant used to be there on 39th Street. Um, I, point, I want to point out that the tenant space is on the east side, so you might have got confused when you read the staff report because I was I had conveniently forgotten that the guitar center lies to the east. So I, when you you might be reading where it says east right away, there's not an east right away. So okay, <laughs> um, so I just want to clear that up so that so that of course affects number one as well on the conditions. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not an east right away. Um, but essentially, um, uh, strip centers are allowed two signs uh, per customer entrance so uh, for each uh, tenant space. So since this gentleman wants three signs on um, his end unit that also has the drive-through uh, window, um, he needs a variance in order to have a third sign on that east facade, which in the future um, may be the location of a second sign as well. Another applicant may be coming to put a, um, uh, the middle applicant, the middle tenant space. Okay. For Verizon, as I wrote in the staff report, is interested in that east side as well. Okay. So there's not really a building to look at yet. <laughs> you can see the found okay. new foundations in. They're pretty much keeping most of the old parking lot there. Okay, we're looking at 39th Street, around mm -hmm. at the funeral home, mm -hmm. back toward 291. Um, there's the guitar center there. And then the, the drive-through will be against that east side of the building there on our left. And okay. of course, the, the, to the south and to that west is that drive that wraps around from Walmart that goes over there to a quick trip. Okay. Um, so. All right. So. 
show a little bit more of this. Okay. Try to get over the fence a little bit. <laughs> so okay. End up pointing at the box. I thought I was pointing at the foundation. But. Okay. All right. Um, of the six uh, criteria uh, staff, um, in the opinion of staff, it meets four of those six criteria, and we identified those. Okay. So, uh, do we have one to speak before the, the board here tonight and give us your name and address and just come up to the podium, please? And you just give us some information on what, you're, what you all are doing there. Uh, hello, my name is Jim Parr, and thank you for hearing us tonight. Um, as was stated, I'm looking for a third sign on the east side of the building. It faces the Guitar Center, <clears throat> and you would be able to see it from like 39th Street, maybe a little bit from South Bolger coming around. I do have uh, papers here if, if the board would like to see them. I also have, as the gentleman was speaking about, um, basically what it would look like if another variance was also allowed after mine with uh, Verizon next to me. I also brought um, the list of property owners um, that I did send out to uh, and notified by a notification letter. Um, okay, that excuse me just a second. What are the controls for this mic? I'm trying to stand away from it because I hear a uh, little feedback. Yeah, the control room um, um, staff, I don't know if they can do anything about this. Okay. Um, Might be able to put it back a little maybe, bit. Yeah, push it away a little bit. So I, I believe that I, I filled all the requirements, uh, made a notification letter, sent it out to all the businesses that are around uh, my location. And uh, this is really more of just a, I guess, a, a visual. I mean, it's, it's not that the third sign is absolutely necessary on that side. Um, people are already pretty much going to be on property uh, for the most part um, when they see it. Um, but I've, I was always told, and this is my first business that I'm opening up, that you never pass up an opportunity to make sure your sign is out there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was asking for a third variance. Okay. Uh, Brian, we didn't get any phone calls, did we? Um, no, I did not get okay. any calls at all. Um, so you're getting an extra on the east side. That's the reason for the you yes, to come to it, the board. Yes, it's the exact same size as pretty much the one in the front and the one on the back. Um, again, I do have a couple of visuals. I'm not sure if, if you guys got the visuals. Yeah, I think we got and then here's one of what it would look like if uh, Verizon were to also put it on there as well. Oh, okay. I don't think we got, I don't get that one. Uh, that, this is kind of a, a recent uh, turn of events after I had put in for my uh, variance. I had gotten a call from the developer saying that, you know, Verizon is, is wanting, they wanted the spot that I'm in. Oh, okay. And uh, the developer didn't let that happen and allowed me to stay. Um, but Verizon was kind of adamant that they get a sign on the side of the building or at least be allowed the opportunity to try to get a so sign. So you're the owner? Uh, I, I'm going to be the owner of the Smoothie King. The Smoothie King, okay. Right. Okay, I got you. And I, I figured just to not have a sign that says Smoothie King on the side that where the drive through window is and it just to be a plain building, it wouldn't quite look right. So you just have it on the north, south, and east. Right, right. so the, the north side is facing 39th Street, the mm -hmm. south side is facing Bulger Road, which is just an access road. Okay. And then the east side would be, you know, this kind of the side that faces the back of the Guitar Center. Okay, so in other words, people coming from the east going west would be maybe a little more bit. apt to see it than maybe, right. Right. unless when then until they've got that right on top of it. coming from Boulder around the Guitar Center might see it too. Okay. It would be on the building, yes. Yeah, they show the your three places. Yes, where so it's the one that I'm looking for a variance on is the one that's the bottom picture there. The east side elevation, okay. So it's not a problem with square 
feet or whatever right. as far it's, as the yeah. size. It's just it's an extra just sign. just the third sign. Okay, well, here when we, uh, when we deal with applicants, we have to kind of look at the, they call it the, the six, uh, uh, what they call hardships for variance. And, and the number, let's see, I guess it's number three here, requiring stricter compliance with uh, the zoning regulation will constitute a practical difficulty for the subject property owner. And then they've got no, again, they, although abutting three rights away is unique, most business in C2 zoning districts get by with less exposure. But I think we could say in this particular instance there would be a practical difficulty because it, it's like anything. It's not only location, but where people see it when they drive by. So I could see where that could be a yes on that, the uh, number three. And then on number five, the alleged hardship has not been created by any person presently having interest in the property. No, the, um, the applicant is requesting the third facade sign for his soon to be constructed tenant space and layout at the chosen location. Um, I think that that could also be a gray area, it could also be a yes, because um, to be successful, you, you have to have a um, location of, that's important, but also um, signs um, that locate where you're at, where you are. And uh, I could see where this also could be uh, not created by you, by you, the person that's building this. So I'm, I looked over the rest of them are all yeses. I didn't, uh, I just commented. I, does anyone else here want to ask uh, Jim any um, other questions? I, I don't have any I other. Have one question. That side of the building to the back of the Guitar Center, how far is that apart approximately? I would say about 100 to 150 feet. <coughs> so that's significant. It's it's a pretty good distance. I mean, they've they've got um, they've got property that uh, probably th three cars wide on the back of their side, and then uh, the curb, and then we've got parking spaces and a place for people to drive plus the drive-through. So you're looking at probably seven to ten car lengths. You're wanting to catch the vision from the people on 39th. 39th and Bolger. As, as well, okay, and Bolger also. Right coming from around the guitar center there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which which Verizon is going to want as well. Okay. And and I'd just like to add that the, I mean this is my my first uh, venture uh, going into entrepreneurship and I do have another space with uh, for, um, Smoothie King to do a second store in Independence so I should have two in Independence. Is it is it like a ice cream type thing or, or it is a health conscious food chain oh, okay. um, where we put fruits and vegetables oh, okay. and make smoothies so oh. it's um, there is a product that we have that actually has ice cream in it but it's like one smoothie out of about 70. Oh, okay. So is this like a, just that's all they do is smooth they don't do any pretty much all, food all, all, all we do is smoothies and we have some retail snack mm -hmm. items. Okay. But okay. fruits and vegetables um, the vegetables are Carrots, spinach, kale. Okay. Um, the fruits are pretty much just about every fruit. You have to have kale. Yeah, that's what believe it. Thinking. Believe it or not, it's a really, really popular one, and yeah, you cannot I, taste the kale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I've, I've, I've tried kale as, as far as eating. I mean, and, and it wasn't something that. I have to but I, that. but I see is with that smooth. More. Yeah. Right. So. But I don't, I don't have, did you guys have any other questions, John? Or? So I, looking at these uh, hardships, I, and so forth, with other, the other four being yeses, I, uh, I could see where this, and to me, it's not gonna do anything to alter the essential character of the neighborhood. It's not gonna do anything to, um, not look good. I mean, I just don't see that. I don't myself. Um, I can see where that all six of those could be essence. So I don't have any other questions. 
is the rest of the board has. Where are you talking about the Verizon signs? I mean, I'm looking, it looks like a nice sign, pretty sizable. Where would the Verizon If I can approach. He's got it on, on his. This is, like I said, this is. I just didn't get fairly, to see. We didn't have new, that with our. This is a fairly new uh, venture. They just actually sent that to me a week or two ago. Okay. Um, well, that would be a separate building. Well, it's it's it's, part of the it's next it's to me. They're going to be next to me, and I'm assuming within a mm -hmm. month month or two they'll be asking for a variance as well. Okay, so they'll have a variance yeah. request also. It's it's not that I it's not that I particularly like having Verizon on the side of the building that I'm I've got, but right. I'm not okay. going to. I mean, the developer kind of allowed me to stay on there, even though Verizon was going to give them more money to take that spot. So I'm not going to argue with them. Three businesses. And th this is actually uh, just a correction. There is there is four businesses that will be in the strip okay. center. Okay. Yes, uh, it'll be Aspen Dental Anchoring on the side by the Quick Trip, okay. and then there will be a men's haircutting place called Jane's Haircuts. Okay, um, I believe they've been uh, solidified, and uh, Verizon is, I believe, signing their deal tomorrow, and then Smoothie, Smoothie King. King. Okay. And, and Aspen Dental and Verizon are the two this biggest yours, tenants in there. You so. want this one. Okay, all right. Now the, um, so you'll have actually start out with one, but you'll end up having, when it's done, <coughs> three, three other businesses plus the It'll, smoothie king. In Independence, oh, you're talking about in the strip center? Yeah, mm -hmm. there'll be three plus okay. smoothie king, so total four. Yeah. Mm hmm I got you. All right, well, um, since I don't see anyone here uh, that's uh, opposed to this uh, this case, um, we can go ahead and close the public hearing and make a decision okay. on your application. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for coming, Jim, Mr. Park. Um, I do. We have anyone here that would like to make a motion to? Approve this case number 18999-11, Jimmy Parr with SK Independence, LLC, 3901 South Bolger Drive here in Independence, a variance request to the sign requirements for this said property. I have a motion. Okay. That's uh, Dennis Hart. And I'll second. And the second will be Jack. All right. So now it's the vote. Um, Gene Ogle? Oh, yes. Jack Lehman? Yes. John Davies? Yes. Dennis Hart? Yes. And Robert Jones? Yes. So, case number 18 999 11, Jimmy Parr with SK Independence LAC has been approved. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. All right, now we, do we just do this by acclamation? This next is gonna be continued. The, uh, the one for Douglas Del, Deltoff. Well, that's what I mean. Do we make it just a motion and do it by vote or do we just? Oh, okay. So we, does it need to be a, okay. So we just we can do this by voice, right? Yes. So I need a a uh, motion eight case case number eighteen nine 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 dash twelve Douglas Deltoff, fourteen hundred South Franklin Drive, a variance request to the site setback requirements for the property at fourteen hundred said South Franklin Drive, and it'll be continued to the August the sixteenth meeting. Do I have a motion? to continue okay and and we've got a second and we'll just do this by yeas and nays those in favor of continuing this case numbers 18-999-12 say yes. yes yes and those opposed say no the yeses have it so that has been continued till august the 16th that case number and on the approval of the minutes, we had two meetings last month. So uh, we will do this by voice. Uh, the approval for the June the 21st and the June 28th as written. 
as presented and written to it. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes from the June 21st and 28th meetings? So moved. Okay, we got Jack, so moved. Second. And we've got Gene to second. Those in favor of approving these minutes from the June the 21st and June the 28th meetings, say yes. 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 Those opposed, say no. The yeses have it. So, I mean, I see on here there's a, on number five on the, do we need to do that tonight? Do you want us to do the election tonight? Or do you want to wait till next meeting? I thought. Do you, do, do, you're missing two regular members, so. Right. We want to wait till we have all yeah, Roy's the, not here and. And Tim. Yeah, you, you may want to wait. Okay. So the election of officers, we don't need to say anything about that, do we? Do we need to say we need to continue that? I don't think we do, do we? Okay. Okay. Well, then I guess that summarizes and that the meeting shall be closed. Thank you. Thank you, guys.